Okay, I'm in the lobby of the Merlot. All right, let's do it. I'm hacking in. Look at that. Secrets and lies floating in a cloud of data. I just reach out, pluck it from the sky, and it's mine. It's ours. Stay focused. We got a nasty security system. How much we got? A hundred grand in 30 seconds. God bless the rich and famous. We are the modern day magicians, siphoning bank accounts out of thin air. Someone else is hacking in. Let's take a peek. Let's not. Stick to the plan, Damien. Check in the accounts and get out. Adventure, my boy. Have faith in your mentor. Something triggered that alarm. Let's find it. Shit. You're scaring the system. I'm almost there. I'm shutting down now. Don't you touch a thing. What the hell is that? We need to abort. We are not done. Damien, it's over. I'm disconnected. Maurice. Yeah? You're on. One of our contractors ran a search for the hackers in the Merlot job. You're assigned Aiden Pierce. Take him out. Hit the family if you need to. This guy's hacking days are done. Hit the family? Not a problem? Nope. I'll scare him good. You'll never hear from him again. Gave the order. <laughs> don't. I don't know. You don't know. Hit the family? Not a problem. Nope. I'll scare him good. You'll never hear from him again. So what do you think, Maurice? Did you scare me? It was a job, man. I didn't know. Who was on the other end of the call? Give me a name. They never gave me a name. Yeah, I'll tell you a name. Oh. Lena. Lena Pierce. <laughs> uh. I didn't know about any kids, all right? That wasn't supposed to happen. I want you to think very carefully. Think. 
Look, man. Even if I knew a name, you couldn't get me talking. These guys. I heard stories, man, they're like nothing you ever seen before. You gotta walk away from this, man. Some things you can't walk away please, from. Please! Who gave the order? I spoke to them on the phone and they told me where to find you. That's all I know, man. That's all I know. Give me a name. I don't know! A name! Kill me, man! Just fucking kill me! How's your memory now? Yo, Maurice! Yo, it's shaking, motherfucker. Shit! Where the hell you been? What? He's talking to me. Ah! Ah! I leave you for two minutes. Give me my bullets. I tossed them. But you said you'd kill them otherwise. I told you to hold on to them, Jordy. Where you been, anyway? I had to make a call. And you get what you need from Maurice? Oh, you're kidding me. Let's clean this mess up. Stop admiring your work. Hey, that's cute and all, but I'm disappointed, Pierce. I mean, you failed to spot the nasty inter-gang drama I'm creating here. I don't like loose ends. Let's get him out of here. No, too late. Bottom of the eighth. Chicago's ahead. Game's almost over. We are out of time. <laughs> huh. Nice shot. Come on, you're not just a little interested in my phone call. All right, fine. Tell me about your phone call. Glad you asked. Okay, we got a bunch of dead bodies, right? We got 40,000 people above us. We need a distraction. I called the cops. You did? Oh, yeah, true story. So, cops arrive, and Maurice's little band of brothers arrive, and pow, 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 pow. Jordy, tell me you're joking. No, no, I called them too. Look, we get a messy altercation at the end of the game. You and I slip away undetected. He'll appreciate the plan tomorrow. Great. Punctual cops. I handle these guys. You grab Maurice, get him out of here. Maurice? What do I look like, a chauffeur? He's the shooter. I'm not through with him yet. Hey. Ugh. Dick. Chicago police! If there's anybody in here, identify yourself. Corpse. <laughs> Victimless crime, then. Why'd they have to pick the biggest game of the season to pull this shit? You're trying to ruin it for everybody? Squad, we've got two bodies in the basement of May Stadium. Gangbangers. Copy. We're sending forensics. Secure your position for now. We're sweeping each level of the stadium. All right. It doesn't look right to me. Why are they killing each other? And why here, of all places? Looks like a good kid. Wait, you think it's the vigilante? It does feel like his brand of justice, don't you? Ryder, the Golden Ally, Jorge Sonoma, who ended with an outstanding 
13-7 record last season. We're watching an epic confrontation between two old rivals here today, and this game couldn't be any closer. Big base steals on this team with 27 steals this series, but Zanova's watching them like a hawk. That's the pitch and the hit, and it looks like... Looks like it unlocks from yeah, the other that's side. A foul ball. Rogers not falling for that one. Both men, of course, experts at the mind game. Two on, two out, folks. Something's gonna give soon, and it could go either way. Sonoma pitches. That's a big hit! See anything? Nope. Quiet here. We've got a known Viceroy in the VIP lounge. We're gonna check him out. Okay, I'm coming up. Slow down there, Speedy. We need you down there. Make sure we don't get it. He's not moving unless I give him a reason. Sir. This is yeah, you. bullshit, man. You ain't got no probable cause. We're just talking. Hey, man, look, I got my tickets right nope. here. No, yeah. keep your hands where I can hey, see them. Hey, this is bullshit. Jay didn't do nothing wrong. Get back now. You're viceroys, aren't you? That ain't illegal, right? Don't get smart. How did you two afford VIP ticket? Mm, bet she makes more than you do. Yeah? Hey, yo, what? Didi, calm down, all right? Don't give them nothing they can use. Something tells me... Police are about to lock this whole place down. I'm stuck unless we create a major distraction. I want to cut the power and slip past them. Do we all stay here? I thought you wanted to keep the vigilante out of the news. Everything's connected to the CTOS with a serious firewall. Right now, I need to get out of the stadium. Can you find me the nearest access point? In the next room. Well, you'll need to find someone with security clearance. Security guy should have access. All these cops, there's okay. gotta be one of them. You out? Yeah, I am. You got an evacuation plan, right? Of course we do. Good, we need to get moving on it. We're looking to evacuate 40,000 people so we can play cowboys and Indians. But you got an isolated incident in the basement, we can close the basement. I got no problem with that. This whole place is about to fill up with Chicago PD. That's gonna cause a panic. We need to shut the game down and get people out of here safely. Oh, shut it down, eh? I can't make that call. Well, then call somebody who can make that call, please. Okay, hang on. Yeah, give me Barry. Uh, uh, well, tell him to call me ASAP. It's an emergency.
Where are you, Jordy? What? Don? I'm allergic to cops. So is Maurice. But don't worry, I left you a present. Friend of a friend deals in pre-owned cars. Got a real beauty waiting for you in the garage across the street. Take it or leave it. I don't care. Gotta go. Stories, man, that like nothing I've ever seen before. You better walk away from this, man. Why are you sitting here? He's coming, right? Not like last time. Jackson, I did invite him. It's been so long. Are you sure you called the right number? Honey, your uncle's a different kind of person. It doesn't mean he doesn't love us.
I trust our info in finding Maurice was correct. We've gained access to the CTUS back door while the police were being distracted by you. Since we both went in this, we'll share what we have. That back door allows you some access to the CTUS network. I'm still working on something bigger. Give me time. Pressing the window when she knows I was coming over. Or that little wobbly dance she did. It's always the same nightmare. I need to get my mind off things. Lucky for me, this city's full of distractions. They can't hide from me. I'll have to thank CTOS one day. Simple breach of their facial recognition software, and I've got access to everyone's personal details.
That guy's out of control. I'm not gonna let him hurt anyone today. Simple trace of his call, and he's mine. now. He, there he is. His target must be close. Let's see how this plays out. Hey! We need to talk. There's nothing to talk about. We're done. Deal with it. You're so fucking wrong. I'm not done yet. Get I gotta away. stop him now. Ooh. You won't bother anyone now. Nikki, hey, I know, I know, the party started. It's almost over. Where are you? I'm on my way. Ugh, you make me crazy. Jackson's really looking forward to it. Get over here. We miss you. I miss you too. I'll be there. Sorry, Nick, I need to take this. I'll, I'll see you soon. Good. You got out. Look, if you need some wheels, give me a call. I'll, I'll set you up. Pre-owned cars? You'd rather register yourself at a car dealer? I don't ask questions. I tell you any ride I want, and you if you need it. I just might. How's Maurice doing? Oh, he's all sunshine and buttercups. I'm gonna dump him at my little dumping place. I need him alive, Jordy. Yeah, yeah, alive. Whatever. Goes against your better nature, huh? Well, I'd pop him and be done, but hey, you pay me right, I'll keep him alive as long as you want. I do work for a paycheck.
Some people are very upset with you. Hey! I haven't been in Nikki since the funeral. Am I ready? Jack's last birthday, Lena sang off key. Happy birthday. Full throttle, no holds barred. Now, I'm afraid of the silence. Probably in the backyard. Okay. Here goes. How old are you today? Ten. No, I think you're nine. I'm ten. Nine. Ten. Nine. <laughs> ten. Well, in that case, uh, you deserve ten birthday tickles. What? One, two, three, four, oh. five, six, oh. seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> ten. 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 Stay here for a second. So, an entire year and... and yeah, late. Yeah, I'm sorry, Nate. Really. Let's have a look at you. You look older. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> it's his first birthday without Lena. Oh, how's he doing? Still doesn't talk to anybody but me. Yolanda says it's his way of maintaining some sort of control. Yolanda? His therapist. She's helping him. It's good. Just slow. It's hard, but we're gonna get through it. Mm -hmm. Jax. Hey. S sorry I'm late. Can I, uh, can I get a hug? Wow. You are big. <laughs> So, hey, what, what do you got there? Wow, the healer. Cool. You bought him a real toy, huh? <laughs> Why don't you bring up your toys? I'm gonna speak with your uncle. Yeah, I'll be I'll be up there in a sec. This matters. You being here. I just need to make sure that things are different. Things are different. You and Jax are the most important people in my life. I'm not gonna stop watching out for you. 
Always the big brother, huh? <laughs> Last time I was back here, it was Lena's birthday. Jackson adored her. We all did. You missed all the fun. The kids were playing vigilante, imitating that guy they keep talking about on TV. Let me guess. Jax was the vigilante. No, they were all the vigilantes, and I was the only villain, but I make a mean bad guy. <laughs> I gave him hell. I should have come earlier. I could have warned them. Don't mess with my sister. Remember when you and Mom were both sick as dogs, but Dad insisted his boy was gonna have his birthday cake? That thing was an abomination. All burnt and lopsided. That was Dad in a nutshell. He did a lot of ugly things, but it was always about family. <laughs> Listen to me, I'm rambling. Oh, really? <laughs> no, 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 don't let me interrupt you. Who is this? <laughs> you think blogging caller ID will hide you? <laughs> I don't know what's so entertaining, but the police won't find it very funny at all. I'm gonna give you some advice. Are you listening? Go outside, meet people, get a life, and stop calling me. What did you say? Listen, the police can trace this call. on those doors who is this why are you calling do you feel safe nikki who was that doesn't matter just some stupid crank it happens do you think this is strong enough look did you know his voice oh, jesus aiden just leave it it's fine it's fine he thinks he can get inside how do you know what he thinks you're checking the locks look i can handle this on my own we do not need your help Nikki, I can find this guy. Hey, look, Aiden. God, you have not changed at all. We do not need your help. Please stop trying to fix our problems. Every time you try, you just make things worse. I better go. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Grown man making crank calls. Let's see how safe you feel when I trace your call. There you are. Damn it. He's on the move.
I can't believe you're paying me that much just to make a crank call. Nikki Pierce, right? I'll mention the locks like you said. And her kid. <laughs> this feels wrong. That's the point. Someone paid this asshole to harass Nikki. Who would pay for something like that? Did you get anywhere with DeadSec? Any of those CTOS hacks? Yeah, I'm still trying. They're kicking you out. Give me time. Okay, well I need your help then. Can you trace a phone call? How can I refuse my best client? Wait, what am I looking at here? It's from a guy who threatened my family. I want to know who hired him. Well, the call came from somewhere in the Loop District. But that's as far as I can see. Okay. If I can hack CTOS inside the loop. Then I should be able to pinpoint the source of that call. Let's do that. Bloom's building a new CTOS center in the loop. It's perfect. DeadSec tried to attack that center last month. We failed, and they just added more armed guards. So it won't be easy. Be careful. You sound like my sister. Relax. Make sure I'm armed and dangerous. to guard their CTOS centers. These guys will be geared up and wired for action. But I'll be ready.
Walker. Contract's clear. I need to find and erase these guys before they can get away. If CTOS doubles their guards, I better double my weapons. Nice day, isn't it? Finding everything okay? few weeks, CTOS centers throughout Chicago have increased security due to several attacks from activist hacker group DeadSec. When asked about security changes, Bloom spokeswoman Charlotte Gardner was decisive. Chicago's safety is paramount, so we've hired private security for every CTOS control center. These highly skilled peacekeepers have trained in the most dangerous regions of the world. In fact, Ms. Gardner, these peacekeepers you refer to are military mercenaries, many with criminal records. Isn't that true? Indeed, they've served time in the military, but we should hardly reject our brave soldiers for proudly serving their country, should we? Our CTOS Don't network is well time. protected, and that gives Chicago citizens the comfort they deserve. That was Bloom spokeswoman Charlotte Gardner discussing CTOS security. Security is no joke. I need access. 
access. How to find out who's targeting my family. I want that voice behind the phone call. Nothing ever... That's it. I'm hacked in. What? You mean... you're in the CTOS? Already? I'm looking at the network as we speak. You got your access, and I've got mine. Profiler system's online. Everybody's nasty little secrets at the click of a button. This thing's highlighting all kinds of stuff in the district. I could take advantage of some of this. Keep an eye out for online traffic. Could be fixers in the network. If I can see them, they can see me. All right, I gotta move. I mean, a lot of noise here. Give me time to track your caller. I'll be in touch. What is it? I lined up a lucrative deal with a very demanding client. He needs a driver. No. But here's the thing. I come in this morning, find Maurice trying to dig his way out of the guest room. So I need to move him. Now I could pass this problem on to you since Maurice is really your problem. But that's not my style. I always finish what I start and all I'm asking of you. All right. Fine. I'll handle it. Well, no, don't let me put you out. 
I said I'd handle him. What's the job? Exactly. It's a delivery job. Gotta move some guy. I mean, how hard is that? Just keep in mind my reputation's on the line here. He's paying top dollar for the best driver in Chicago. Then he's in luck. Fixer. I made too much noise in the loop. This guy's found me. Well, now I better find him. Jordy's job will have to wait. Shit, he's trying to hack in. Maybe if I trace his signal back, I'll find him before he breaches my phone. Now. Fixer down. Now, how many more are out there? Well, someone's taken an interest in me. Fixers are mercenaries, they work for a paycheck. Someone's issued a contract on me. That's bad fucking news. If I remember right, these guys communicate through the grid. Jordy's job, some kind of driving contract, delivering a guy somewhere. This won't be a typical taxi service. The trick with these jobs is avoiding the cops. Oh, <gasps> 